We've had road rage settlements in the last two months. Aggressive driving cases are becoming more common for trial attorney Rocky McElhaney. It's really bad out there right now. A lot of aggression, I think, related to COVID. He's continuously astounded by his client's stories. And when he gets out of his car, they run and hit him in their car. And he has a dislocated shoulder. They ran over him. Nashvillians have started to wise up to ways they can hold people accountable for their bad behavior. And McElhaney says they should, but safely. In this day and time, with Tennessee's gun laws, we don't know who's carrying a gun, right? So don't escalate. Instead, he says, if you can get away, do. But if you're in a collision. One, take pictures. And number two, get medical treatment. McElhaney relies heavily on data collected and stored in the black box installed in newer model vehicles to help prove what witnesses saw leading up to the crash. Your car knows your acceleration speed. It knows if you're going left, right, if you're maneuvering, if you're turning, it knows if your signal light's on, it knows how hard you hit the brakes. It records all that. If the data proves you're the aggressor in the incident, you may face an aggravated assault charge. Aggravated assault typically requires a weapon, but courts have found that cars are weapons. Meaning if you are intentionally engaged in road rage and you cause harm, you can go to jail. An aggravated assault is a felony. Which holds a sentence of one to four years behind bars, added to a civil suit and punitive damages. They need to understand that most insurance policies that cover their actions driving don't cover punitive damages. So their wages, their assets could be at stake. Making a moment of madness <laughs> linger in the lives of many for years to come. It's best if we can all just get along. Alex Dennis, News 2.